Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We're outside today practicing our social distancing, as Thomas showed there. Today, we've got four Callaway driver models, 2017 to 2020. We're going to be testing all four models using our TrackMan 4 outdoor capable machine today. So, Thomas, I'm excited to, first of all, experiment with this, but also get to see all these numbers and test out Callaway's driver technology. It's really exciting to get outside and kind of test and see the bull flight outside. Now we've got a little bit of a breeze here. Inside simulator, I don't have that. Yeah. So it's always nice to kind of add that little element in there as well. Jailbreak, really, really good advancements with regards to um, bull speed numbers. And they've kind of kept it on all these driver heads all the way through. And then you've added in a little bit of artificial intelligence here too. So it's kind of interesting to test you know, four years of range and technology and see how they will perform. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this because I know you've been playing Callaway drivers in the past. Uh, Maverick is the brand new one for this year. They've kind of expanded the artificial intelligence a little bit too, which was successful with Epic Flash. So we'll see how these numbers compare. We'll see how the driver technology has progressed over four years. So I'm excited to watch you hit these. Well, let's get after it. All right, Thomas, we're starting with the GBB Epic. I think you did play this before, right, in your past as uh, when you're playing tournaments and competing and whatnot? Yeah, so the, this is the Sub-Zero model. I actually played the original GBB Epic um, okay. myself when I was kind of playing. I skipped over the, the Rogue, and then I played the GBB Epic Flash Sub-Zero as well. So okay. kind of played around Sub-Zero and the Epic as, as well. Um, but it looked very, very good. Um, for me, the biggest issue I had with the Sub-Zero originally was when I was playing a few years ago, when this first came out, is this little flat align go, so I had a hard time turning it over. Sure, so That's okay. why I went with the, the standard Epic. Yep. Okay, I got gotcha. you. But uh, we got all four Sub-Zero models here, so the lower spinning ones, obviously, we'll see how uh, it all turns out. But we got four years of technology to test out here. Yep, four years of technology, all nine degrees of loft. I got them all set at the S and D setting, so more upright setting. I like okay. that with, it, with a driver. Um, and then we got the new Graphite Design XC 6X golf shaft here. So okay. I'm excited to test this outside for the first time as well. Okay, sweet. Oh yeah, that was smash, wasn't it? Yep, that was it well. Boom. Take that one. Wow. The GBB Epic, that's a, that's a solid start for the, for the test here, right? I mean, that's now four years old, that driver. Uh, that's a 2017 model. But uh, the numbers so far are pretty darn good for you, Thomas. I got to say, this is a good start for the GBB Epic. That's a lot to live up to for the rest of them. Yeah, my first couple of shots I noticed, the spin was a little higher on it. But then the last three were kind of more around that 2000 mm -hmm. spin, which was, which was pretty solid. Um, pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I'm hitting it pretty good. So <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't expect like three to four years in technology major, major differences the first year that they had the jailbreak. So that definitely was a huge, huge advancement yeah. for Callaway from wolf speed numbers. Oh yeah. Um, but we'll see what kind of what happens as we hit all these other ones and compare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing with Callaway. Jailbreak has been fantastic and they're going to keep that in their woods for a while, I would assume, because of how solid the ball is off the face, how fast it is, and how forgiving too and stable that club face is. Um, with jailbreak right behind it. So all four of these models have that and you're gonna see that in the testing today. So, but let's move on to Rogue here and I move one more year further in technology. All here. right. What's this one like looking at it? Just because it's, like you said, you hadn't, this is one you did not play in your bag. Yep. Uh, so how does this compare appearance wise to the ones that you have played? For me, it kind of looks like it's a little bit more heel to toe, a little larger, kind of heel to toe across the face as opposed to having a deeper face. Um, but pretty kind of similar look. You know, it's got a little more green on the Epic as opposed to the, the Rogue, which has got kind of more of the blue lines. Yeah. More darker finish, I guess, to it. Mm -hmm. um, good looking club, though. Yep. Dead straight ball. Dead straight ball. Uh -oh. 
It'll pull on that one. A little bit. Yep. A little pull. That would probably be le uh, not in the fairway, I would say. But uh, That might be the next fairway over. <laughs> <laughs> However, we have uh, some good numbers here. So you got a 150 smash factor with both drivers. Okay. So congratulations on hitting the exact center every time. Based on the, fl the ball flight trajectory and the fact that you pulled a few of them, spin dropped uh, by about 500 RPM. Okay. Um, and then actually your total distance actually increased. Uh, part of that slow spin and roll out and everything. Yep. But your carry distance was actually higher with the GBB Epic at 274 and a half. But uh, 270 um, with this. So yep. um, as in terms of height, we thought that might be a difference. Yeah, the, the Rogue obviously went lower. And again, I think that's partly because it was a pull a little bit. But uh, what do you think of the two? Yeah, I was having a little bit of a harder time with the left bull with this one, just a little yeah. bit. I mean, I would expect them to be pretty similar for guys, to smash factor. Pretty good at finding close to the middle of the club face. Um, and also with limitations on drivers, I wouldn't expect this to be yeah. too far over or you know, if I'm hitting it good, you know, it might be about the same. So yeah. pretty good. Um, I was surprised with, with the GBB Epic, how well, I, uh, how well I hit it actually. Yeah, you were smoking it. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was dead straight ball flight too. Your dispersion's yeah. kind of right over that center line what we're yeah. looking at. Um, but all right, let's, uh, let's move on to here now to the Epic okay. Flash, which the Epic Flash Sub-Zero. Yep. It's kind of when they introduced that artificial intelligence into the construction here. So we'll see how that compares to the Rogue and the GBB Epic. Yep. Okay. Definitely a more compact, rounder look when I'm looking down at it. Okay. The other two just look like from kind of left, not from the heel to the toe was a little bit more room. This one's definitely more compact. Okay, yeah. so maybe a shorter face length is what yeah. you're saying. Shorter face, maybe okay. a little more deeper this way. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So we're just we're already noticing some differences yeah. in the shape. Definitely just a big by difference. So far. 315 yards, all well, 314 yards of total distance, 280 carry. Those are the numbers that uh, I know you like to see right there. That's kind of yep. about what your ideal number is. It's nice to see it translate from inside to outside right. as well. And also with range balls too, which is, yeah. you know, we do have the normalization butter button on the track man here, but I have no, noticed sometimes the number's not perfect yeah. when using a range ball versus using a mm -hmm. more premium golf ball too. Yeah. But. straighter as well. Yeah, that's a little bit straighter. All right. So with the exception of that third swing that I made, yeah, that was going a little further, a little higher, a little further. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Your spin was kind of more in that ideal range of about 2,000. Right there, yeah, 2087 was your average spin. Uh, your total distance jumped up to 309 average, and uh, carry distance also jumped up. Very cool. So that's pretty solid numbers for that Epic Flash. Yeah, I really like the the look of this. Looking down at, I kind of like it's kind of like that pear shaped look a little mm -hmm. more. The other two just look like they're maybe from kind of heel to toe, just a little bit wider again. Okay. Something about you know, a more compact driver for me. I definitely feel like I focus my attention more on maybe sure. in more middle of the face too. So. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You kind of it seems to you know we can't get away from the mental aspect, right? I mean, you're very close to a robot in terms of your swing and keeping it consistent. <laughs> There's always that mental thing that comes into it. People have their preferences, what they like to look at. Yep. And so that's obviously playing a little bit of a factor here, but numbers were great. Uh, you had a 149 smash, you had 310 total distance average. Um, so and that's your height- miss hit. Right, so. and that was, the, well, that was the one yep. miss hit. So I yep. mean, it won five all for four of those shots yep. at least. So. Uh, Great numbers, and uh, now we get to move on to Maverick, the right. newest option for 2020. All right, Maverick Sub-Zero, the last of our four drivers to test, the newest model from Callaway. Uh, looking down at it, appearance-wise, compared to the other three models you've hit, what do you think? It looks fairly similar to the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, actually. Um, kind of like the look that I kind of like looking down at, a little more compact, and maybe ever so slightly deeper back this way, but it's, uh, up the top of the face, it definitely you know mm -hmm. compact for sure. Um, 
a little different with the orange as opposed to yeah. the, the green or the blue, but that's the color design for 2020. Yep. I'm um, excited to hit this. Just kind of unwrapped it right now. So <laughs> first time outside with one of these. So question for you, just one more here. Does the color scheme, like when you're looking at the dress, is that something that you notice a lot that comes into your mind a lot? You see the orange versus the green versus the blue, or is that not something that registers into your brain a whole lot? I think it's something you just get used to pretty quickly. Okay. I mean, it's it's noticeable at first, but I'm always trying to focus on that top line to yeah. line my golf ball up okay. to the target. Um, if I look at the club face for long enough, I'll notice, hey, this has got the... I mean, it's subtle. It's not it's, like yeah. it's blasting in your face right. where it's just the entire yeah. face is a different... Uh, t sorry, entire crown is a different color. Um, it's subtle enough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what they do with, Cal with Callaway here. They have the the color schemes, right, but on the crown of the club head, they don't really make it too noticeable, besides maybe yep. a couple of spots. But okay, yep. that was just something I was curious about because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that maybe notice that type of thing and it yeah. uh, plays into their mind quite a bit. Well, you flip it over this side, you can obviously see a little bit more. Now you see it in a rack when it's thin like that. Yeah. You can see how it got a little different color, but for me, as long as it looks good from this angle, quite yeah. okay with what, what's going point. on on the bottom. So Yeah, that's yep. a good point. Okay. That was smoked. Yeah, I got that a little high on the face, but. That was smashed. Go bull. That was good. Well, that's a solid strike to end on right there. About 100 feet in the air again? It was 95, but close. Okay. And you had. 290 carry, 318 total. Hmm. That's pretty solid, Thomas. It's pretty solid. Now, want to break these numbers down a little bit further? Yeah, let's take a look. All right, Thomas, you got the numbers. You're breaking them down as a fitter would. What are you finding? I was really impressed. First thing I'd before even talking about the heads, I was pretty impressed with this golf shaft. I've been I've been raving about this one all year. I've been playing the BB6X for a while. Mm -hmm. Very very similar weight and profile. Felt really good. So it's the first time I be able to feel this one outside all year. So I was pretty happy with the golf shaft. Now, in a fitting environment, what we always do is we always fit club heads with the exact same golf shaft. So that's why I want okay. to test all four of these heads with the same golf shaft. Sure. So I'm really excited about to play this golf shaft kind of going forward here too. Okay, so first thing I noticed was, wow, how straight I hit the ball with the GBB Epic Sub-Zero. So mm -hmm. 2017 model, yeah. how straight I hit it. It was going a little shorter. I was swinging a couple miles now, slower on that one there too, but wow, did it go straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that dispersion was really, really tiny uh, yep. with that GBB Epic. So, I mean, that's kudos to Callaway for putting together a driver, you know, in 2017 that is that highly performing in 2020. Yep. So that's pretty darn good. Yeah, and I also mentioned too, I didn't choose that one because it was maybe a little flatter than the GBB Epic in the 2017 yep. model. Um, what's interesting, if I look at the dispersion here too, that was one that I missed more to the right, so I was going pretty straight. Mm -hmm. I have made some significant swing changes in the last three or four years, where I now draw the ball. Four, three years ago, I did not draw the ball. Yeah. So that's okay. kind of why I'm kind of noticing a little flatter club head. For me, I noticed that I was kind of leaving that to right. Sure. But it was basically going dead straight. Interesting thing is I took you know, one miss hit out with each club. I didn't even need to take a miss hit out with that one. So you know, kudos to... First year with the jailbreak coming out, 2017 yeah. model, jailbreak. really nice and straight. Um, with the Rogue, I noticed I hit that a little lower. So that one I was a little bit lower, a little bit left. I think I look at the height here, it was flying 70 feet in the air, where everything else is flying around about the 90 to 100 feet yeah. in the air mark. Keep in mind, we are hitting up a slight little hill here, so I'm yeah. not sure, we're still trying to figure out Trackman a little bit here, whether that's influencing yeah. the height a little bit. Um, but it's kind of interesting to notice that it was significantly lower. These are all nine degree heads. Now when you do hit the ball a little bit left, yes, you're going to hit it a little bit lower as well. Um, just kind of notice that, um, that the carry distance dropped by a couple yards compared to the GBB mm -hmm. Epic in those two models. And then the last two hit pretty well. Yeah. I really hit them pretty, pretty solid. The Epic Flash, I hit very consistently nice and straight. We noticed that the ball speed jumped up a little bit with, with, with that. With that. Um, my club speed jumped up a little bit. Maybe I got a little bit more excited. We're talking 0.4 mile an <laughs> hour, so not, not like a major amount. Um, but the spin and the height, you know, the launch was a little bit higher with that one as well. So kind of interesting. 
Um, the launch angle was right around about 11.7 .7 degrees with the Epic Flash okay. Sub-Zero. And then with the Maverick, when I hit it, it was 11.9. So naturally, a little bit more launch angle is going to make fly a little, little yeah. bit further as well. So. so, well, I mean, I'm looking at first of all, I'm, I got to say, I'm looking at the the ball prints here on the club face here, <laughs> right about at the center. So that's pretty cool. But um, Maverick, artificial intelligence, kind of Epic Flash Sub Zero had it first introduced. Now it's evolved a little bit with Maverick. Seems like it's paying off, right? We got a little bit of extra gains there going up, uh, you know, obviously the very tight dispersion with the GBB yep. Epic. I did gain a little bit more. Yes, the dispersion was maybe a little bit more to the left, but it did go a little bit further. I, I'm trying to play a little draw, so I'm quite okay with, with that there. Interesting, if we like, take a look at the spin, it was spinning about 200 RPMs more than the Epic Flash Sub-Zero okay. at 2300 RPMs. I mean, that's pretty it's about good. right where you want to be, kind right? kind of right where you want to be. 2100 with the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, also pretty good. But I did pick up five yards in carry distance. So I carried at 288 on average versus 283. I've always talked about that 280 to 290 number if I can get there. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that there too. So naturally I picked up a little bit more carry distance. I had make a big emphasis on that. Yes, you do. Um, and then I picked up one yard more of right. total distance. So. I know. Well, oh. you talk a lot about the yeah. carry distance because, you know, especially today is a great example. Got a lot of rain the night before, so on the course, the rollout that TrackMan shows us maybe won't be as uh, impactful on the course. So the carry yep. distance is going to be a much bigger deal. And we can gain that carry distance that's going to show up more often on the golf course. So uh, you gained the carry distance that you wanted with the Maverick here. So kudos to Callaway for, again, the 2017 GBB Epic. Terrific dispersion for you out there. But then as you go into the newer technology, gaining that ball speed, gaining that distance that you're looking for. Yeah, really good. I, I was really, really happy with, with those numbers there. Um, it's going to be kind of exciting year for Callaway, and I'm always excited to see what they come out with with artificial talent and what's going to be next mm -hmm. as well. And they're great that they kept that jailbreak. That's been a huge advantage yeah. for them to pick up some of wolf speed. Absolutely. Well, the golfers have seen the numbers, seen the results. Callaway's got four great drivers out there uh, from 2017 to 2020 to get into. Find yours at a second swing store or talk to a second swing fitter like Thomas. Get yours in your bag. Start hitting the ball further and straighter.